Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is x plus y is equal to 20, xy is equal to 44, to find the values of x and y from these two systems of equations. Now, in the first step, we'll start by letting this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. Then, from equation 1, which is this x plus y is equal to 20, then from here we'll make this y the subject so we'll take x to this side then it will be y is equal to 20 minus x then in the next step from equation 2 whereas equation 2 it is this which is x y is equal to 44 then from here this equation here in terms of y will substitute y which is this x 20 minus x so it will be x then times y, y which is 20 minus x bracket is equal to this 44. Then in the next step, from here we'll take x times 20, it will be 20x. Then x times negative x, it is negative x square is equal to 44. Then we'll start by this negative x square, so it will be negative x square then plus 20x we'll take this 44 to this side so it will be minus 44 is equal to 0 then from this equation here into here minus x square we'll make this positive so we'll multiply the whole equation times negative 1 so it will be negative 1 times negative x square it will be positive x square then 20x times negative 1 is minus 20x. Minus 44 times negative 1 is plus 44 is equal to 0 times negative 1, it is 0. Then in the next step, from this quadratic equation, to find the values of x, we will use quadratic formula. Now from quadratic formula, which is x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a so it will be x is equal to minus b b is coefficient of x which is negative 20 so it will be bracket negative 20 then plus or minus square root of b square it will be this minus 20 bracket square then minus 4 times a, A it is coefficient of x square which is 1, so times 1 times C, C is 44, so here times 44. Then over 2 times A, A it is 1. Then in the next step it will be x is equal to negative negative 20 to be positive 20. Then plus or minus square root of negative 20 square it will be positive 400. Then minus 4 times 44, it will be minus 4 times 4, it is 16, go with 1, 4 times 4 is 16, plus 1 is 17, then over 2 times 1, it is 2. Then in the next step, it will be x is equal to 20, then plus or minus square root 400 minus 176, so here it will be 10, 10 minus 6, it is 4. Then here it will be 9. 9 minus 7, it is 2. Then here it will be 3. 3 minus 1, it is 2. Then over this 2. Then in the next step, it will be x is equal to 20, then plus or minus. From here, square root of 224, we'll find the factors, which is so as we can get the square root here. Now from 224, here it is divisible by 2 to be 1, 1, 2. Then here it is divisible by 2. So it will be 5, then 6. Then here it is divisible by 2. It will be 28. Then by 2 again, it will be 14. Then by 2, here it will be 7. So here, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it will be square root of 2 power 5 but we want to get the square root of 2 power 5 so it will be 2 power of 4 then times 2 
times 2 times 4 2 times 4 I mean 2 times 7 it is 14 so from here it will be over this 2 then it will be x is equal to 20 plus or minus square root of 2 power 4 it is 2 power of 2 then times square root of this 14 because here you can get the square root of 14 we won't get the exact value like this then over this 2 then in the next step from here it will be to be x is equal to 20 then plus or minus 2 power of 2 it is 4 then times square root of 14 then divide by 2 here so we'll divide in this part and this part so it will be over 2 in here and here over 2 then in the next step from here it will be x is equal to 20 divided by 2 it is 10 plus or minus 4 divided by 2 it is 2 square root of 14 so from here we have two values of x because of plus or minus therefore the first value of x is equal to when it is positive to be 10 plus 2 square root of 14 so here 10 plus 2 square root of 14 and the second value of x is equal to here when it is negative it will be 10 minus 2 square root of 14 so from these two values of x then we'll get we'll find the value of y now to get the value of y from this step here y is equal to 20 minus x so we'll use this equation y is equal to 20 minus x and here y is equal to 20 minus x then it will be here it will be here it is x1 so to get y1 y1 is equal to 20 minus x here to be x1 which is this so to be bracket this which is 10 then plus 2 square root of 14 bracket then it will be y1 is equal to 20 will take negative inside the bracket so it will be minus 10 then minus 2 square root of 14 so it will be y1 is equal to 20 minus 20 minus 10 it is 10 then minus 2 square root of 14 so from here we get this x1 y1 so the first solution x1 comma y1 x1 comma y1 is equal to x1 it is 10 plus 2 square root of 14 so here 10 plus 2 square root of 14 comma y1 it is this 10 minus 2 square root of 14 so this is the first solution and from here the second solution to get here it is x2 so to get y2 is equal to 20 minus bracket x2 x2 it is this so minus 10 10 minus 2 square root of 14 bracket then here it will be y2 is equal to 20 we we'll take negative inside the bracket so to be minus 10 here to be plus 2 square root of 14 so it will be y2 is equal to 20 minus 10 it is 10 then plus 2 square root of 14 so this is the value of x2 this is the value of y2 now the conclusion from the second solution it will be x2 comma y2 is equal to x2 x2 it is 10 minus 2 square root of 14 so here 10 minus 2 square root of 14 comma y2 it is this 10 plus 2 square root of 14 so this is the conclusion from this our problem whereas the value of x from the first solution it is the value of y from the second solution and the value of y from the first solution it is the value of x from the second solution now let's check if these answers are correct we'll check from this first solution only now to write our problem which was x plus y is equal to 20 
the first equation the second equation it is x y is equal to 44 now from this first equation x plus y by using this first solution here first solution check we check for the first solution so x plus y it will be this plus this so 10 plus 2 square root of 14 then plus this which is 10 minus 2 square root of 14 so 2 square root of 14 minus 2 square root of 14 this and this will cancel so it will be 10 plus 10 it is equal to 20 which is this so this here it is correct for the first solution by using the first equation now for the second equation by for the first solution here x times y so it will be this times this so it will be 10 plus 2 square root of 14 bracket here times 10 minus 2 square root of 14 bracket now this part here is in the form of a plus b bracket then times this part here it is in the form of a minus b bracket whereas a it is 10 and b it is 2 square root of 14 now a plus b bracket times a minus b it is equal to a square minus b square so a square it will be this which is 10 square minus b square it will be this bracket 2 square root of 14 bracket square then 10 square it is 100 minus bracket 2 square 2 square is 4 square root of 14 square it is 14 so here times 14 bracket so it will be 100 minus 4 times 4 it is 16 go with 1 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 it is 5 so it will be equal to 100 minus 56 here it will be 4 here it will be 9 9, 9 minus 5 it is 4 now 44 which is this one now to check it is correct thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye